So hi everyone, today we're going to speak about the Panorama application, which is the main application of the gallery solution, as you can see from the menu here. Now, the Panorama application uh, gives the capability to see the real-time status of the units, the live data of the units. Uh, on top of that, we have here analytics capabilities, which we will see as well, reports and dashboards created by the system or by the users, and control capabilities. So users can actually use this interface not only to view the units, but also to send commands to the devices on site. So let's begin. Um, first of all, what we can see here is the Galuli demo account, which actually uh, composed of real units of real clients uh, from all over the world, which we just changed the name and the location for the data privacy of our clients. But all the data you see here is real. Now, what you can see here on the left is the organization tree. We have the Galuli demo organization. Below it, we have clusters. Okay, for example, microgrid uh, units, telecom telecommunication units, and below it, we have groups. And below the groups, we have the unit itself, uh, where you can see them now on the map. Now, the client can organize uh, the tree however he wants, uh, according to geographic locations, vendors or subcontractors, uh, or layouts of the sites as we did here. But this is totally uh, customizable and up to the user's uh, needs. Now, what you can see here on the map is just a general overview of the units that we have here in the gallery demo. And each unit, which is uh, colored here, is colored according to the alarm state of the unit. Uh, or it would be great, as you can see also in the organization tree, if it's disconnected. But of course, that uh, red alerts sign that there is a critical alarm in the specific units, uh, yellow that there are no non-urgent alarms, and if it's in green, so everything is fine. Now, uh, let's deep dive to a specific unit. Uh, let's choose this unit here and switch from the map mode, where we were just in, to the live mode. Okay, let's see what's going on with this specific unit. Um, in this unit, we can see that we have a grid connection, a generator, solar panels, and batteries. And we see that it is consuming almost uh, nine kilowatts at the moment. Now we can see that the batteries are providing most of the power to the site. And now it's switched, the grid is providing all the power to the site and the batteries are discharging. Now, the data that you saw just changed because units are transmitting data all the time to the server and in real time this is uh, converted to this display and displayed in the panorama so everything here is reflecting what is currently happening right now uh, in real time at the unit's location so it's basically a digital twin of the unit itself now as we saw very clearly what is going on generally in this site, we can see here the specific devices which are connected. So we have here a generator with a deep sea controller, a rectifier with a Delta Orion panel, two shelters where we monitor the room temperature and the door status. We have three uh, batteries from type Polarium, two tenants, and also an ATS meter. Now it is very important to note that it doesn't really matter what are the models or the hardware on this specific site. Uh, for example, here we have deep sea, but if we go to this specific site, uh, actually to this specific site, we would see that we have another type of generator, but everything actually looks the same, the data is the same. So this is what's very special about the Panorama and the Galuli solution in general, uh, that we are very hardware agnostic, and it doesn't matter which type of equipment you have. If you have different sites with different equipment types, everything will look the same and will be standardized in the panorama. Now let's continue with the first site we saw and uh, let's have a deeper look. If I click any of the cards here, uh, I will get a more detailed view into uh, the situation of this specific asset. So we can see for this generator, not only the four parameters they have here, but also a closer look into the generator cooling temperature, battery level, oil pressure, um, etc. And if it alarms, as you can see here, it states that the generator has two alarms, they would also be uh, detailed inside the card. 
Now, um, on top of the very detailed view we have here, the live detailed view, we also have this interface for controlling uh, the device itself. So I can use this interface to send commands to the generator, start or stop it, change the working mode, reset the alarms, um, and not only for the generator, for other devices as well. This is just an example. So for example, if uh, a client has a situation on site where the generator is running for no reason and is in manual mode, not auto as stated here, instead of just sending someone to the site, he can also log in, go to this nice menu and just send a command to switch the generator mode to auto. So this is, of course, very useful because you're not only viewing what is going on, you can also affect the site itself. Um, so this is about uh, the live mode of the panorama. If you remember, we were viewing the map mode. We are now in the live mode. And now let's go to the analytics mode. Now in the analytics mode, we have the analytics center, which is composed out of system dashboards, users dashboards, which is here under my report section and the Oracle section. Now, uh, it is very important to notice that we're not only viewing specific units in the panorama, we can also view the entire network of sites. Okay, so those dashboards and analytics that I have here in the panorama can be used to compare between different sites show me which are the best and worst sites in my network that I should take care of it. So everything here uh, can be analyzed not only on the site level, but also in the organization or network level. Now, what we have here in the analytics center, if we're viewing uh, now system dashboards, for example, is a set of analytics which are pre-made by the Galuli team. Uh, we have here some dashboards about energy management, energy storage, um, performance of specific assets, some bottom lines about the costs and the sustainability implications of the sites. So those are uh, insights and value users can get from logging to Panorama from day one. You don't have to do anything special. Those are pre-made and will give you insights uh, from the start. Now, on top of that, uh, if the user is interested in, mo in more customized analytics, users can create their own dashboards or reports uh, and just use them in the panorama like any other dashboard. So this summary data and aggregated analytics we have here can be uh, or pre-made by the Galuli team or, uh, pre or made by the users itself and customize it uh, to his needs. Now, if you can see here, I have a pretty different um, uh, dashboard, which is actually a public dashboard that you can see here, which is a dashboard a team member from my organization shared with me. So this is a type of dashboard that if there is someone in the team which is responsible for the analytics uh, and provide a set of wants to provide a set of analytics to his team members, he can just publish his dashboard to Panorama and everyone on the team can enjoy his uh, analysis um, here in the panorama as well. So we have three layers of dashboards, the system dashboard, which is available for everyone, the customized dashboard, which every user creates to himself, and public dashboards, which can be made by one of the team and shared to all team members. Now, another section that we have here are the Oracle dashboards which are actually um, dashboards that are based on some more advanced analytics. We call it predictive analytics, which can give the users um, a future uh, predictions about the refueling, the fuel st uh, state of the generators on site, a generator maintenance oracle, which help to uh, plan where are the next maintenance and when are the ne next maintenance uh, visits should take place. And those are also available in the panorama. So to sum it up, we have here in the panorama, the three modes, the map, the live, and the analytics, all available uh, on the organization level, on the site level, or group, or cluster. You can organize a tree however you want and use it as you see fit. Um, this